Helene has its sights set on Florida's Big Bend area. Yeah, that eye of the storm expected to impact overnight between the area of Cedar Key and Tallahassee. We start this half hour in Perry, southeast of Tallahassee. News 6's Eric Sandoval is there live. Eric, I talked to you on News 6 Plus earlier this morning, and have conditions changed at all since then? Well, you know, right now we're sort of enjoying a moment of dryness, Bridget. We're, I looked at the radar. We're basically in between those feeder bands coming from Hurricane Helene. We also moved a hi, little doggy, little doggy just passed by me. Um, we also uh, moved a little bit from downtown uh, Perry and uh, wanted to show you the CVS pharmacy. You can see it's shut down for business right now. They have boarded up all of the windows there. Across the street, there is another pharmacy, I think more of a homegrown pharmacy, Jay's. You can see they are also boarded up. Right across the street, where the dog just safely crossed the street, thank goodness, uh, the Marathon gas station is also boarded up, but it is open for business. And I just talked to the owner inside. He's going to stay open until the, the weather changes for the worse. And we understand that to be happening here in the next couple hours. Now, uh, between the morning show and the noon show, uh, photojournalist Megan Neely and I jumped in the car and we actually took a field trip down to Keaton Beach and we shot some video that we want to show you. This video shows the Gulf of Mexico. Look at the water. It is completely still right now, and that is not what we expected to see. We expected to see some choppy conditions. Uh, don't let that fool you, though, because the National Hurricane Center says this is ground zero. Keaton Beach is. This is where we're probably going to see a ground swell or a, a, a tidal swell of 15 to 20 feet. The homes around there were built for this. They're, they're on stilts, but fortunately, it was a ghost town at Keaton Beach. Everybody had evacuated. We talked to the, the, the very last people who were about to leave. They said that they were on their way out just as, as quickly as uh, they, they finished cooking some food. They coincidentally lost two cars in the last hurricane. And back out here live, I do want to drive home the point. This area, this will be the third hurricane, major hurricane, that they have seen here within the last 13 months. This is a community that's really tired of hunkering down and waiting for the storm to pass. Uh, but this is a major one, and we're going to be writing this out all afternoon right here live on News 6. For right now, we are live in the city of Perry in Taylor County. Eric Sandoval getting results. News 6. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Eric. It was really eerie to see that water so calm, yeah. thinking about what is just a few hours away.